the bullpen, uh, which is much maligned, obviously, over the course of the season, has actually pitched well. It really started after the Red Sox uh, got back on track after that eight-game losing streak back on August 5th. They got the best bullpen ERA in Major League Baseball. Look at two guys in particular, Brandon Workman, who's essentially been their closer now, and Darwinson Hernandez, who actually leads the Red Sox in strikeouts per nine, 16.3 strikeouts per nine innings. Are one of those two guys going to be the team's closer going into next year, or is it going to be somebody else that emerges? No, I mean, I think the closer, you have a closer now, his name's Brandon Work. So you think he's still going to be the guy, or would uh, Darwin's and Hernandez get a crack I think at that, it? I think that ultimately he could get a crack at it. There's nothing wrong with having a couple guys there who can do the job, but I think the main thing is, is to define it. Unlike this year of that experiment that they did with Matt Barnes of pitching to the middle of the order, wherever they are, we understand that's not viable. You can't do that. You have to have the guy at the end. Sometimes he pitches to the meat of the order. Sometimes he doesn't. But I think Brandon Workman has shown that he can thrive in that role. Now, can Darwin's and Hernandez emerge? Absolutely. This is just keep him out of the rotation. Make him a reliever. There's nothing wrong with that. You have Batanzas, other examples. It's okay. It's okay. So 30 games left in the year. That's why we've called this Dirty 30. With that said, Rob, how many games do the Red Sox need to win out of 30 to get into the postseason six games back in the AL wild card? All right, I'll go 20 and 10. 20 and 10. That, which Two is, out of three. Yeah, which is, easy, you know, so it, it sounds manageable, but the problem is, is that you're going 20 and 10 basically with starters right now who three out of every five starts are going three innings. You have to fix this. Maybe, I mean, maybe this is the way they go. They get up, up a lot of September calls. They just say, hey, you know what? We're going to keep rolling these pitchers out. The bullpen has been very good. That's the way to do it. But if you are going to go that route, then 20 and 10 is going to be a lot more difficult. Not impossible. The Red Sox have to take care of business. But the other part of it is that you have to have another team fall apart. You just do. Because look at what they just did. They, they've won. They've won a lot recently. But you haven't gained a lot of ground because these other teams are winning just enough.